Hello, we're off on a mission of a slightly different kind today. We're going to build a balcony garden on the fifth floor of an apartment complex on St Kilda Road, about 10 minutes out of Melbourne. It's a very, very busy road. We're going to give it some life with these plants. Let's go. So here we are in the midst of St Kilda. A little bit noisy, got a blank canvas to work on. Let's see if we can make it beautiful. So we are complete. It's 33 degrees today, just to let you know, that's why my face might be a little bit warm looking. So just to sort of run you past what we've got here. Firstly, I managed to find the screen at Bunnings to cover the air conditioner because no one likes an air conditioner. It's not a very pretty sight. So we've had this cut in half and half of, I've put it in front of this and you'll see where the other half is in a moment. As far as the plants are concerned, this is a, this is a south facing balcony, so that means that the sun goes over probably after about 11.30 or 12 o'clock. Um, so we obviously needed to consider shade tolerant plants. So I have here a bird of paradise plant, which is a full sun, but also tolerates part shade. It won't grow perhaps, perhaps as quickly, but it still will do very well. So I've chosen two of those. I've got these beautiful snake plants, which are fantastic, handle low levels of light. They are fantastic in winter to take inside because they are air purifiers as well and they are gorgeous looking plants. I think they're very trendy at the moment as well. We've got a Lord Howe uh, bird's nest fern, which again are shade tolerant plants. These are all fantastic because they require little maintenance to let you know because we have a bachelor here who will not want to worry about the plants too much. I've got something here called a Roe, Roeo Dwarf or Roeo Dwarf. I think it's, this one's called Moses in the Cradle and I think these are gorgeous because they've got that beautiful, beautiful glossy leaf with a purple underside. They have little white flowers, clusters of flowers as well. Again, quite happy in full shade as well. Lots of succulents, I've kept lots of succulents and I've chosen blues and greens. The dark coloured succulents handle the shade very well. The reds and the bright lighter greens are more sun loving. And again, they're low maintenance, which is fantastic. So basically I've repeated it over here. Um, I don't think I haven't met, oh, there's one I haven't mentioned and that is this beautiful bromeliad. These are gorgeous. This flower could last between three and six months. So I think it just adds a bit of color without getting too floral for a bachelor. Um, and once that flower dies down, you can actually break off the pups and, and regrow them. However, I don't think he'll do that. You'll see that I've placed pebbles in the saucer of each plant. Now the reason for that is so that the plants can actually retain some moisture without the roots rotting, because they would if they sat in the water. I also want you to see that I have bought my bachelor a lovely watering can and some implements so that he can occasionally give each leaf a little bit of a chop when it dies off and water his plants. Very, very important. None of these plants need to be watered regularly, but they will need water when they dry out. There you go, we've got a little chair for him to sit on, a little rug below, and he will hopefully relax like I am and enjoy his new balcony garden.